Hi friends. Welcome to a quick tour of the Collaborate Ultra tool on UGA's ELC platform. Collaborate Ultra is a tool where you can use synchronous online classrooms and lectures and hold meetings. There's a number of things that you can do with it, as we'll see in this video. First, here's a little demo module I've created just for adding things to and showing you some stuff. There are a couple ways that I can get to Collaborate Ultra. At any time, I can go through the Tools menu. Click on Tools, and you'll notice Collaborate Ultra is there. Typically, when I want to use Collaborate Ultra, I want to set up a session that my students can access at a later time. So instead of going through Tools Collaborate Ultra, I will add a link inside the module to the session that I want to set up. To do that, click on Existing Activities, go to External Learning Tools, and notice you'll have Collaborate Ultra. Also notice Blackboard Collaborate is above. That's an older version of Collaborate. You'll want to stick to the newer version, which is Ultra. Once you have clicked on Collaborate Ultra to choose it, you'll notice that a new link has been added to your module. You can edit this to appear however you want. For instance, Edit Properties in Place. You can then change this to Our Next Online Meeting. You can add dates and restrictions. You can even change the description. Once you're done, I usually like to refresh that to get back to where I can start to set up my meeting. So here's the link that the students will see. Click on that and you'll get to go to the Collaborate Ultra tool and you can set up your session. Here's what Collaborate Ultra looks like when you first get into the tool. Let's take a brief tour of this before we create a session. Note. At the top, there's a general course room. This is unlocked. This is actually a room that's always available. Students can jump in there anytime they want, unless you, as the developer of the course, choose to lock it. Over to the right, there's a set of session options. You can join that course room. You can dial in to this number. You can edit settings. You can view reports. You can copy guest link or you can lock course room. Notice it currently says it's unlocked, but if I choose lock course room, it is locked. In my experience, I usually leave that unlocked until I want to actually do one of my scheduled sessions. Then before I start the session that night, I make sure I lock this course room. I have had students in the past get into the wrong room and wonder why the session hasn't started. So I found out if I locked this room, they can only get in the one that I have currently open. Note that it's there, and that if you leave it unlocked, students can get in there at any time and use that room. I generally use that room for office hours. Notice over to the left of the sessions bar, there's one of those hamburger style menus. Click on that to see the menu. Notice we're currently in sessions. The only other option is recordings. I have no recordings at the moment, but after a session has been recorded, given it a period of time for it to render, it will show up here. You may have to show your students how to get to that. People can also search for different recordings based on the dates. Recent recordings only go so far back, 30 days. If you want something earlier than that, they'll have to get recordings in a range and click on the dates for those. couple other things about this. In this area down here where it says no scheduled sessions, once I have sessions created and scheduled, they will appear here. Notice I got a couple of buttons that I can click to create a session. I can also filter sessions by those that happened in the past, in case I wanted to go back and connect in those for some reasons. Sessions in a range, that's the range of dates. Or by default, the upcoming sessions would show up here. So that's pretty much it for this main screen. 
Let's see how we can create and schedule a session for the future. Select Create Session. You want to first give your session a name. Notice just below that there's anonymous dial-in. If somebody doesn't have a computer they can dial in through their phone using this number. You can send that out to them however you want to get that to them. You can also allow people who are not in ELC to have guest access. You make sure you check the guest access here. Then you select what role they would have and you send out the link that is provided here. I rarely use that but one of our MBT instructors often has guest presenters come in to his courses. Below this, you set up your event details. What's the date of your session? I'm going to keep mine for today and leave it on 318, but you notice you can click and pick whatever date you need to in the future. I'm going to leave it here so that we can join it in just a minute. So I want to have an actual open classroom while I am creating this video. Early entry allows people to come in early. I generally leave it to the default of 15 minutes before time, but you can set it to whatever you need to. You can click and provide a description of your session. You'll also want to check session settings. Most of these session settings I usually leave as default. However, I like to click on allow recording downloads. Rather than discuss all of these, I'll just provide a brief look here and you can explore them as needed. But generally don't forget to set the session settings before you save so that your session is going to work exactly like you hope it will. Once you've set up all the requirements for your session, simply hit save. Now you see that your session is available in the sessions. If you wanted to, you can schedule all of the sessions for the rest of the semester and they would all show up here in a list. I tend to schedule mine as I'm building out the various modules. So at times I may have two or three. Now let's go into the session and have a look at what Collaborate Ultra Classroom looks like. So simply click on the session. If it's an active session now you'll see the Join Session button. Your students will also see that. If it's not active, the Join Session button will not appear here. For example, if it's for a future date and not active at this time. Here's what you see when you're in the room. First thing I like to do is go ahead and check my audio and video and make sure that they're working. So down at the bottom you can see Share Audio. Note that if you're speaking, the microphone will give an indication of whether it's working or not. You can also allow to share video. Your video will show in the bottom left corner of your screen. You can also raise your hand. This makes no sense at the moment, but we'll see where that comes in later. Note there are two tabs, one at the bottom right corner of your screen that's purple, and there's another one at the top left called the Session Menu. Let's have a look at the Session Menu first. Here's where you go when you want to record the session. So let me go ahead and start a recording. You can also use your phone for audio, report an issue, something about Tell Me About Collaborate, which is help, and some other Blackboard Collaborate help, and privacy policy. Let's open the um, open the Collaborate panel on the right. Here we have a number of things. You can see who's in the system and you can chat with them. This is your chat. Generally I like to have this open when I can so that I can uh, see any questions that student might have. Notice that it's recording messages in this chat as well. On the attendees option at the bottom I see that I'm one attendee I can also detach the panel. This is nice if I want to move this panel or keep it open. While I'm looking at chat, I may also want to be monitoring this. So when a student raises their hand, 
you'll be able to see their hand raised here. Students will have other options, like they can lower their hands. There's also an icon that indicates how well their signal strength is. Note when that's detached that the attendees does not appear as one of the options at the bottom of that collaborate uh, panel. Sharing content. Here's where we can share a blank whiteboard, share a screen, share files, do some polling, and do breakout groups. So you can set up different breakout groups here. I'll leave it to you to explore how to use that tool or to use the polling tool. But just note they're here when you need to find them. Let's look at the whiteboard and how we can share some files. So first the whiteboard, if I click share blank whiteboard, you have this up in the top of the screen you'll see select icons, pointer icons, pencil icon, I can draw things on the screen, click text, write some text, I can erase everything, I can draw shapes. This could be useful if you just want to kind of ad-lib things that you want to show them, draw diagrams on the fly. I find that it's a little clunky, so I prefer not to use this unless I need to. You can also share application or screen. Use this to select different screens you might want to use. Hit allow to share that. You'll also see the editing options at the top so you can write on top of your screen. I find that this works better for me in Google Chrome than it does in Firefox, which I'm currently using. So be sure that your browser is compatible with that. There's probably just a setting I need to set up in Firefox to allow this. The other thing you can do is share files. To share files, this usually works best if you use something like PowerPoint. Create your PowerPoint slides. I often create mine in Keynote, but then I export them to PowerPoint so that they work here. Then you can just drag your files and after a few moments they will be uploaded and converted. Click on share now and you'll see them listed. You can click on the first one. Note that the conversion may make some of your files look a little wonky. So you may want to go back and edit them after you see them converted. Note that you can also use the editing tools up here to draw on the screen. Hopefully this works as a little quickie tour of Collaborate Ultra. Be happy to work with you to share other items on how it works.